Hello, and welcome to another video. Uh, this one is less of a tutorial and more of like a pro tip slash this is the workflow that I use slash this is the command that you see a lot in my stream. So let's, uh, let's jump into it. Okay, so we're here talking about why you should not use git add dot and a replacement that is much, much better. Um, and for this example, I have uh, copied a clone of pre-commit, which is a tool that I wrote. Um, it's managed in Git, and so, you know, I do a lot of Git workflow on it. Um, and if we look at Git status right now, you'll see that I have a modification, but I also have a bunch of untracked files. And now I should probably add, you know, build to the git ignore, uh, but this to-do file, I actually kind of want to, you know, resolve this at some point. There's, you know, a, a little, a little tiny, tiny thing that I plan to do at some point, but, you know, I have this to-do file around. Uh, but if I want to commit this, right now I kind of have two options, and like, a lot of times when you're learning git, they'll just say, oh, you know, just use git add dot and, you know, fix, fix it eventually. Uh, but if you do git add dot here, you'll notice that we've added all of this junk that was in this build directory, which probably should have been part of the git ignore. And we also add this to-do file that we might not have wanted here. Uh, but we did we did add the file that we you know, intended to add. Um, and depending on whatever else is in your working directory, like sometimes you might accidentally add your like .env file and you know push that to GitHub, and then someone has your OAuth credentials or your you know secrets or whatever. Um, so, you know, be careful when you're adding stuff. Uh, you can do git reset dot to unadd everything. Uh, but I'm going to show you a command that I think is way, way better than git add dot, and that is git add dash u. And what git add dash u does is it will add anything that has been staged at some point in the past. So you can see like, um, or I, I guess the word is tracked. It is It will add any files that are modified uh, but are already tracked by Git. So, you know, pre-commit config.yaml has already been checked in before, so Git knows to add this to the index. If you look at Git status, you'll see that it only added this file and it left these untracked files alone. That's it. That's the entire tip. Just use git add dash u. <laughs> uh, of course, when you're doing like the first setup of the repository, you probably still have to do, you know, git add dot or whatever. But after that, uh, always use git add dash u. And anyway, that's that's the video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you guys have additional stuff you want to see, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.